Welcome to Electra Online, and here we're going to take a look at the density, the, the way the atoms are packed, in what we call a body-centered cubic structure. We still have a simple cubic, we have a simple cube, but in this case, not only do we have atoms at each corner of the cube, we also have one atom at the very center, body-centered as they call it, at the very center of the cube. So first of all, how many atoms are now contained with this simple cube? And keeping in mind, of course, that because this atom is at the very center, it pushes the, four, the actually eight atoms, right? There's a total of eight atoms at each of the corner of the cube, pushes them to a little bit farther apart, where it's not likely that two will actually touch each other right here. What's touching is the atoms that are at the corners with the one in the middle. The one in the middle is pushing the ones at the corners out a little bit, and there's probably going to be some gaps between those atoms. So how do we find the density of this kind of packing? Remember the density when we only had atoms at the corner in the previous video when those were all touching to each other? The volume was 52% for the atoms inside the cube. Well, let's find out what the density is for this particular cube. First of all, what are the number of atoms inside? We'll definitely have the complete atom right here, and we still will have one eight of each of the eight atoms at each corner. So the number of atoms, will be equal to 1 plus 8 times 1 8 of an atom, which is a total of 2 atoms. Therefore, the volume occupied by the atoms inside the cube will therefore be equal to 2 times the volume of single cube, which is 4 thirds pi r cube. All right, so that will be the volume of all the atoms inside the cube. Now, what is the dimension of the cube? Well, the only way in which the atoms touch is across the diagonal line from the front left corner to the back rear corner, or to the right rear corner, I should say. So that means that if we draw a line from the front of this corner here to the back of that corner right there, that distance is equal to the cube root of 3 times the side. If the side is equal to A, then the diagonal from one corner across to the other corner like that is the square root of 3 times A. And that will then have to be equal to four times the radius of an atom. I have one r here, two r, three r, and four r. So the cube root of three times the side equals four times the radius. From that, we should be able to find out what the side is in terms of the radius. So all we have to do is divide both sides by the square root of three, and we get a is therefore equal to four divided by the square root of three times r. Or, I guess we could replace R by terms in A. That might even be a better thing to do. What we could do is rearrange this and say that R is equal to the square root of 3 divided by 4 times A. Simply by moving the square root of 3 up here and the 4 down here, we get the square root of 3 divided by 4 times A equals R. And that can then be replaced or substituted in, in this equation right over there. All right. Now, also keep in mind that the volume of cube is going to be A cubed. So this is this number here divided by a cubed. Turning this into a's, what we could do is simply replace r by this quantity right there and multiply by the 2 times 4, bringing the 3 down here so we have this equal to 8 pi divided by 2a cubed and instead of r cubed we're going to write this quantity cubed. So we have the square root of 3 divided by 4 times a quantity cubed. Okay, so we simply replaced r by what r is equal to in terms of the side of the cube. Okay, continuing on, um, a divided by, ooh, this should be a 3, not a 2. 2 times 4 is 8, divided by 3, this should be a 3 right there. All right, continuing on. So we have 8 pi, the square root of 3 cubed, that's, uh, hmm, that would be 3 times the square root of 3 times a cubed divided by 3 times a cubed and then we still have the 4 that's cubed that would be 64 that goes to the denominator. Alright, so far so good. Notice now that this 3 cancels out. The 8 and the 64, this becomes 1 and this becomes 8. The a cubed cancels out the a cubed and now what we have left in this equation is we have the square root of 3 times pi and in the denominator we have 8 and that should now be the new ratio of the packing of the atoms in what we call a body standard cubic 
Remember, when it was just four at the corner, the cube would be a little, a little bit smaller because the corner atoms would be touching each other. In this case, they will not be touching each other, but we probably have a more dense packing. Let's find out what that number is equal to. So we take the square root of 3, multiply it times pi, and divide it by 8. And there you go, 68%. So you can see that by the atoms packing in that fashion, now the density is 68%. So when we have a crystalline structure where the atoms are, are set up in such a way that you have atoms at the corner and one in the middle of what we call a unit cell, in this case it's body-centered cubic, 68% of the volume would be occupied by the atoms or ions, whatever it may be, and the other 32% would be voids. So less voids in this case, a more dense packing scheme when it's this kind of structure.